Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I am here to show you how to make a really cute little card. It's using a die that I received from LivesCraft.com. I'll have a link for it down below as well as a coupon, co coupon code and other links to some other products that they sent me. Super cute metal die. This is a pig and I picked it up because my daughter loves pigs and I plan on making her a junk journal for um, just whatever she wants to use it for. So this die comes with all these little pieces. If you can see this. It has the body part. It has the little ears. It has a flower and then it has four different faces that you can use. Um, this one, I, I haven't pulled those two apart, but it has this piece here where it is, it has sunglasses and that's, or yeah, sunglasses and that's what I'm going to be using today. This one has little eye, little eyelashes, cheeks, and then the snout. This one has eyebrows and a snout and then this one down here looks like it has the eyes and a little mouth the snout and a little mouth down there so just different ways you can use the dye I have a solid lighter pink a sparkly darker pink cardstock these are just scraps from my stash and then I also have this really pretty ribbon it's a uh, celebrate it from Michaels and then I have this pad that I've had in my stash it's basics it was from I think it was from that looks like a ooh, TJ Maxx maybe or a Tuesday morning I'm not sure <laughs> so there are some pink patterns in here and this pad is a card pad where you can fold it it already has a a scored section in the middle there to fold it I can't think of my words today so I'm going to use this as the base and this is going to be a note card size and then I'm going to use that as just a layering part behind the pig. So let's go ahead and get started on this. I'm going to go ahead and take off this part and probably trim it down but I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to go ahead and trim that. Just to make the sides even. Alrighty, and then let's go ahead and cut out our pig here. So I'm going to do the light cardstock for the base. And this will just be a card that I'll insert in the journal. I'll probably make a few more of these little pigs to go as decoration or ephemera in the book and make the different style faces on them. Okay, so I have the base and then the other pieces for the ears and the face, I'm going to use this sparkly paper. I think this is from Joann's. So I'm just going to lay my ears and my face down and just put that in here. Let's see. I don't need all of this. So I'm just going to rip this off. It'll be easier to lay it out. Go ahead and run that through. If you don't have a Sizzix, this is the Big Shot, and I will have a link down below. You can check it out in um, on Amazon. Oops, it disappeared. Where'd it go? Oh, that's funny. 
Oh, there it is. <laughs> it just kind of moved around. Okay, so I have this, the face part has like a little mouth side. I don't know what that is really, but it looks cute on the, on the pig when you lay it out. And then I just need to poke out all these pieces. You might need a little pin. So I just use a straight pen and it has holes on the opposite side to help you remove the piece from the die. Just like that, really cute. And then go ahead and remove the other pieces, the ear and the other ear. Alrighty, so we'll move that out of the way here. I'm going to go ahead and scroll in a little so you can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, I forgot. I need to do the flower. So I'm going to do that real quick. If you're debating on whether you want a Sizzix or like a electric machine like the Cricut, um, I have both of them and I actually use both of them quite a bit. So the benefit for the die cut machine is that you can actually, the dies can be like more intricate than what you can cut out on the Cricut and actually get clean cuts. I find a lot of time when I try to do really intricate things on my Cricut, it just gets jammed up or, you know, you have to use a brand new, brand new, uh, what do they call that? The board that you put your paper down on. Um, I don't know why I can't talk today. I cannot get words in my mouth. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so I always have a hard time with doing the really intricate items. Say like on this piece where the little glasses arms are and the middle part, that would just totally mess up on the Cricut, for me anyway. If you have better luck, more power to you. <laughs> but anyway, you can also use your embossing folders on the Sizzix. But I do use both and I love both for different reasons. And yeah, so anyway, so I'm going to be putting together my little piggy here. Really cute. Isn't that so cute? And then you can put like a little rhinestone in there if you want. So I'm going to glue this down. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down on the ears. some glue along the bottom of the flower so I want it to stick out a little bit at the top like that and then put some glue on the face piece this is so cute all right oh I'm gonna love it oh and then it has I forgot the like the little well, I think I popped out the little mouth part and lost it. Anyways, I think it still looks cute like this. But there is the little teardrop shape that goes along the bottom. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. Never mind. I just need to poke it out. 
So this is just the tiny little smirk, I guess, down at the bottom. Or, I'm not sure what that is. The cheek? <laughs> that's cute. Alrighty, so that's that part. So now we're just going to layer. And what I want to do is layer the pig on top of here and cut out around it just to frame the pig and And then cut down here. This was actually the score right there. That's why I moved it up like that. Alrighty. So cute. Look at that. Okay. And then, you know what? I think I want to add another layer of the sparkly pink just to frame that frame this piece I think that'll work just a thin sparkle so cute and then that will go on top of here so let's go ahead and glue these together stick our piggy down in the middle there And then this will go on top. You definitely want to use liquid glue when you use these glitter papers because the tape just doesn't like to stick. At least the tape that I have. So I always have to use liquid glue to get them to stay down. That's so cute. Okay, and then before I glue this down onto the card. I'm going to take my ribbon and we're going to tie a double knot of ribbon over here along the side. need that much but that'll give me enough room to trim it however long I want the ends to be just like that and look at that turn this one down So this is even and placed where you want that to be. I think that looks good there. And we're going to glue this down on top of it. Move 
smooth that over just a tad. There. Oh, this is so adorable. I love it. Look at that. I just need to hold it down, let it dry just because of that ribbon. I want to make it as flat as possible on the card. Now, this card, because of this ribbon and that thick spot right there, you would probably need to pay a little bit more <laughs> if, if you go to send the card. But since I'm going to be using this in the journal, then it'll just be like this. So isn't that so cute? I love it. All right, so that's what I have for you today. Go ahead and check the link out down below for this. Um, I'm also going to be uh, making a video on a rabbit, a bunny rabbit die that is perfect for springtime and I'm making cute little Easter goodie boxes, little handled boxes to give to my teachers um, in my Sunday school class that I head up. And I have a lot of several wonderful teachers and so I always like to make them little goody things, little goody whatever's treats for the holidays. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.